I think I owe my recovery to God because if, if I didn't believe and I didn't have God in my life, I don't think I'd be the person sat here today. I literally lived in one room. Um, if anybody came to the house, I used to hide in a cupboard under the stairs until they went away. Um, I used to go by taxi to get drink or drugs. Um, and that was at night. I was a bit like a rat. I was like nocturnal. Um, then the house was taken away. Then I was on the streets. Then I ended up in hospital. And I'd had been in hospital several times, time after time after time. And uh, this time um, they said to me, they said to me, Stephen, you really don't have another drink in you. If you drink again, you will die. What happened was, I couldn't walk, right? And I was doubly incontinent. Um, I was having to be fed. I, it was just awful. And as a nurse, I was seeing myself how I used to treat patients. That was like the turning point for me. That was like, God, I need help here because I can't do it on my own. And um, that night I prayed. And it was the first time that I prayed. And I didn't pray to stop drinking. I prayed to Jesus and I said, I want my dignity back. And that was it. Sorry. There are still days where mentally we relapse. We don't physically put that relapse into action. But there are days, and they may be very far and few between, where we don't think, wow, wouldn't it be nice? For me, maybe other people say it does go away forever. For me, it doesn't. It is always there and it is going to always, I think it's always going to be there. And in a way, I embrace that. I embrace it to the fact that it keeps me alert of my addiction. You and I are far better than any drink or any drug. And there is a world of opportunity out there. And that's what needs embracing. Even in your darkest hour, in your deepest despair, there is hope for every single one of us.